Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video about the quirky little camera that is the Insta360 GO. Um, and today we're gonna learn how you can actually continue shooting footage, offloading the footage onto your phone and then when you get back home, get it from the phone and I mean the source Insta360 format so that you can export it in much higher bitrate than you would get from the mobile app. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Like zero degrees, I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary guy, let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the let out the let out the wake up, get out the sheets. We came for one man, forget my peace. You take the west, I take on the east. I'ma put them in a cage, never let out the let out the yeah. I hear him chat to the noise. You move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys, not so tough, but minds keep talking. Yeah, just too sharp with the prize. White girls, let her tell me I'm awesome. Yeah, hot like fire on the pine. Please, Beg, please get on your knees. Came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the let out the let out the shoes. Check out the All right, so what's the deal with the mobile app? Well, the app is really nice if you ignore the splash screens and ads and the constant stream of horrible notifications that luckily you can disable thanks to iOS. Uh, the app is kind of nice to do a quick edit to trim the video uh, and post it to Instagram or something like that. But if you want a better quality, uh, you have to use the desktop app. And because the camera only has like six gig gigabytes for the footage, you end up uh, using your phone to offload the footage to be able to record some more. Now, I actually like that workflow, but the trouble is uh, many people don't realize that you can actually get the originals from the phone. And you do that by accessing the app store, the storage, the silo of the data, uh, of individual apps. You can do that with Mac OS Finder, but I'm sure there's a, there's a Windows equivalent, um, an Android equivalent to iOS. Um, in any case, the app just stores it in a DSIM subfolder that you can just drag from the Finder, uh, the you know iPhone location, Insta360 Go, and there's a DSIM folder. You can't like get a nested view of its contents, but you can just drag the whole thing and then you got the footage and you can drag it onto the Insta360 Studio and do whatever you want. You can, you know, uh, use the different um, uh, aspect ratios. You can pick the uh, kind of stabilization, but you can also export to different formats. You can set the bitrate of the H.264 stream you can also use h265 if you have a very beefy machine or if you have plenty of space and space is cheap these days you can just go for the apple um, uh, prores 422 format which is probably the best choice for editing um, and that's it <laughs> a quick video i hope you enjoy take care